We have another quick video on this auction car. I'm going to be programming two new remotes to the car. Purchase these on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. On the packaging, it shows you a website you can go to to get the instructions on doing the programming. However, once I got to the website and put in the vehicle information, it says that can only be done by a locksmith. So I'm going to show you a tool that I use, and I've used this on Volkswagen Ruton, I've used it on a Dodge Charger, and I've used it on a Dodge Grand Caravan, as well as a Hyundai Elantra, and it was also just the keyless entry. So I'm going to take a stab at it, see if it'll work on this vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in the car. I'll show you that tool as we get going. I'll also have a link to that in the description below as well. As you can see, we are in the car. This is the tool I'm going to be using. This is the D7 by X tool. It's something I purchased on Amazon. So I'm already hooked up to the car. I'm going to back out and see. So we're in the body control module. We'll just start here at the beginning. Once, once, well, all right, we'll back all the way out. Okay, from this screen here, we're going to go to Diagnosis, GM, Manual Selection. This is a 2009 Chevy Malibu. This is a 2.4, six-speed automatic, and we're going to go to System Diagnose, Diagnose, and then we're going to look for whatever looks like might have our information in it. So that was door lock receiver, special functions. Okay, so here we have program key fobs. And right now, I don't know how many are programmed to this. So I'm going to invalidate all fobs. And the reason I'm doing this is the original two that I got do not work. So this procedure will erase all key fobs from memory and then begin reprogramming. All key fobs to be programmed must be present. Instructions, place module in program mode by selecting program key on the tools. Simultaneously press and hold the lock, unlock buttons on the key fob to be programmed. When programming is successful, the parameter for that fob will display yes. Initially, all previous program fobs will display yes until the first fob is programmed. Repeat step two until all desired fobs have been programmed. When you complete, please leave procedure. Press OK after reading and fully understanding instructions. I'll turn the key back on. Do the next available slot. So when I hit program, you hear the car making a ding right there and then I'm holding these down and I heard it ding again so it keeps kicking them out okay invalidating all fobs maybe because I didn't have the key There we go, that should. Now we're in program. So hit program. One there. One there. Okay. That one works. That one works. Okay, so now we have two good working fobs. I'm going to show you the reason that I bought new remotes to replace these. I thought maybe the battery was dead. In one, uh, actually, both of these, I thought the battery was dead. So I pop 
this one open and if you look here you can see somebody had done some work to try to resolder this connector and it was unsuccessful so let's take a look at the other one and here you can see there must have been a similar problem because that connector fell completely out and that's the reason that I chose to buy some new remotes uh, $20 got two brand new remotes does the remote start function lock unlock trunk release everything that the factory one does if you have any questions put them in the comments below I'd be happy to try to answer them if I can thank you for watching